Hello and welcome back to Expedition Builds. You know, I recently added Metal Cloak's DuraSpring rear bump stops to my build. Let's jump in and take a look at these. Here's a look at the stock bump stops on my JL. The bump stop is there to reduce the harsh bottoming out of your Jeep suspension. With the addition of weight and larger tires and wheels on my JL, I knew the factory bump stop was no longer up to the task. I'm only doing the rears because I'm already running Fox Race Series 2.0 hydraulic bump stops up front. Let's take a close look at what makes a DuraSpring bump stop. The microcellular urethane progressively absorbs compressed energy using microcellular air pockets, then takes that decelerated energy and releases it in a slow dampen force, allowing for additional cushioning, additional spring rate, and a soft mechanical stopping point during suspension compression. Now, so a quick side by side comparison of the DuraSpring bump stop alongside the stock bump stop. As you can see, there's a lot more material with the DuraSpring. Now, let me show you how easy it is to change these out. First, twist off the stock bump stop. Next, grab that new DuraSpring bump stop and twist it right back in its place. Easy. I removed my rear tire for ease of filming this, but you really don't have to. On the other side, I left the tire on, reached up and swapped the new bump stop right into place. Metal Cloak's DuraSpring bump stops offer a cost-effective way to provide protection to your axles and increase ride comfort. They are also available for the front of your Jeep as well. Mm -hmm.